This is a HeadGum Original. I guess so. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell was that? What? You said, ugh, <laughs> because we were about to start recording the show. Well, I didn't think that you'd cut me off. I thought I'd have like a minute to exhale before we launch right into it. What we do have to do is adjust the cameras. diaphragmatic I didn't do that. What's that? breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing, yeah. It was very like uh, meditative. We've like never I felt had my whole this. body. Can, just, can you shut the fire. fuck up? You never, you've never had this. Can you shut the you fuck up? You have to up? adjust you the say cameras. That a lot. Well, no, because... Oh, yeah, did you focus any of the cameras or just the I didn't focus any of them. Here's the thing, right? No one's ever sat this far away from each other. <laughs> so what? Uh, <laughs> so I want to get into why you guys feel so diametrically opposed, physically and emotionally. I think that's like the optimal layout. Yeah, it's it's a balanced approach. That's what yeah. I was going to say. It's a balanced approach. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I, I think yeah. it's because... I think it's because well actually you could be one for, one further away. And then that's really balanced. I think it's because yesterday Amir came in, we hadn't seen each other in a while. I was talking to Pyle <laughs> about some wiring in the studio. And I said, Amir, we're talking. And then <laughs> he left and after that it wasn't like we couldn't get back like we couldn't shake it. <laughs> that did yeah, happen, also, but that's not why you're not sitting in the seat. <laughs> why was Pyle there? <laughs> Pyle was in LA. He was helping us like uh, set up a network or something. Then what did I do it for? Uh, you were an awesome first pass, and we love the rough draft, to be sure. Every great story starts with an outline. I and then Pyle was sort of the closer. I Enter saved Sandman him cash. Style. You sent Pyle cash? Just, no, I saved, I saved the company cash by mm -hmm. being his proxy, and he just flew out anyway. I think he didn't it's fly out up. for that. He, he flew was out here. for something else. Yeah. And then in addition Top to secret. that, yeah, he had like walked wow. around with, he had this like radar thing. Did you see that? Where he was I like saw the radar thing. Yeah, yeah it was like, like a, it was. It was kind of like a metal detector, a metal detector but for detector, Wi-Fi yeah. signal. <laughs> so he was like walking around like this being like, it's not strong here. It's not strong here. And he almost was like remapping the whole server. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't get to join this. <laughs> you weren't here. We do have an, a, a new server. That I did set up. <laughs> Let's be clear. Well, he set up. <laughs> Kyle also set up a application on there called like Grand Ex Grand Exchange. What what does it say? <laughs> what does it say? It says, "Oh, this is a draft of an email from Marty to me that I'm fired." Okay. <laughs> Anyways, it's like a program. <laughs> I'm like, just imagining just Marty coming into the studio to draft an email. Didn't send it. <laughs> Sitting down at the big computer. He wants His isn't chair enough. squeaking up a storm. You can't, you can't <laughs> handle the arena. You know what I mean? Like, we might not have his salary, but at least we can handle the bulls. We can run with them. Of course. It's okay to smile and, like, enjoy what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, we will if it's enjoyable. <laughs> I was <sure>. smiling. <laughs> I can't see Marika that we should say. And I can't it's see on this Jeff, screen. And I That's can so barely funny. see anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's just mostly looking at myself. I'll take a picture. Yeah. It's really yeah. just Marika's right sort of. A <laughs> so she's sort of like hovering over my desk like with her arms on my shoulders right. being like what is what is what are all like the bullpen people talking about? That's right. kind of what Marty does. Yeah, but she can't see you. Yeah. yeah. And you can't. Amir's on his phone. That's <laughs> it's a bad attitude. It's a bad layout. Yeah. Um, people didn't really like, and by people I mean Marika, the study hall episode that came out last week. You guys haven't even heard it because it hasn't come out yet. What is that? Well, it's, what happened? Well, basically, it was the study hall episode, right? So it was like everyone was supposed to kind of bring in, a, you know, a piece of information or a subject and kind of enlighten the others. So more like show and tell. In a way, yeah, but in regards to like study and hall. When you when Jeff says this, what do you think he means by people were supposed to bring in? Like he told can you I take, during I, can the I take a guess? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I think it was like I think it was a ten minute buffer. I think he gave you a ten minute window to come up with something for his. <laughs> That's really generous, but he did it in the recording. In fact, 
And so we also the episode, didn't he's do like, it. This all being he, said, no one really understood the assignment. Well, the assignment. <laughs> the assignment. No the one really gave an assignment, I guess. Was that Jeff just Honestly, decided to read a, a Wikipedia article? Mm, Wiki roulette we did. It would be a good idea for us to all bring a PowerPoint. I was going to say we should do a slideshow. But you have to tell people ahead of time. That's the part I don't understand. I feel like we're not really like agreeing there. You're like like it's improv. Yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to be. Everyone should be as ill prepared as you, basically. There's a certain energy this episode is already having it (laughs) that that one didn't have. And I don't want to put it all on Pyle, Marika, and the fourth guest. Who was the fourth? (laughs) Who was it, Marika? Casey. (laughs) Donahue? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> You're surprised. <laughs> Casey you recorded it three days ago. Casey participated, I think. Marika was sour. <laughs> Pyle was. Oh, Marika's <laughs> joking. You made her joke. <laughs> 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 She's coughing. I'm that good. wasn't funny enough to choke on your DC. No, I just don't know what happened. I inhaled too fast. <laughs> what? <laughs> I inhaled too fast. <laughs> I breathed bad. Um, people didn't this like that really episode, weird. though. So this one has a little bit it more of a... It hasn't come out yet. It has, no, the audience is going to love it. I think it has so it together. people? People is Marika, Andrew, and Donahue. So I thought this one fourth. would, uh, you know, we'd bring a little bit more meat on the bone for Ooh. us to sort of suck off. Don't. The wing, the fucking, yeah. you know, the flank steak. <laughs> yeah. You ever have a bone-in flank? How about a bone-in ribeye? I thought you were eye? talking about the, the women's um, club, the wing. No, people loved that episode. We'll never be able to replicate that. Um, what episode was that? Oh, the you... women's episode. All the all women episode. When they were all on the all the couches looking at gotcha. you. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. That was good energy. That was a fun one. Marika's lucky she didn't have to look at you when you said meat off the bone. She ever we had to make eye contact with me and Marika blissfully <laughs> so kind of another dimension. Yeah, it's coughing. <laughs> so I thought that we could read some reviews from Apple Podcasts because we've always talked about <gasps> wanting to do this. We've never done it. <laughs> I'm so um do you guys want to do that now or do you guys want to do that after the break? Maybe wax a bit? <laughs> just do it now. You yeah, set it up. You it. walked us to the edge of the fucking bit. <laughs> Bond of the week. So we're not doing it? Not the, yet. The reviews. The what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Fucking Skarsgård. Peter Skarsgård. Wow. Peter. Yeah. Peter, Peter Sarsgård. Sars- yeah. Peter Sarsgård. Yeah. Peter Sarsgård. Yeah. That's pretty good. For no reason, yeah. Which one's Peter? Not He's, he's not, not a scars guard. You're not yeah. getting it. You're he's really Maggie not Jillian getting Hulls. it, yeah. Don't. Unrelated to uh, the scars guards that we know. Yeah. Correct. He's, he's just a, he he's said a scars guard, guard but it's that actually scars guard, no K. Got it. Peter. So the brothers Garden are scars guard. Scars guard. And he's a scars guard. Correct. Yeah. Mm, okay. What do you guys think? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's You probably I, do He doesn't have enough Meat I th- on the oh, bone I was to gonna say jaw bone No <laughs> Sorry I I find I like him But I don't think I he's don't think bond. he's got it Okay I think he could be a good Bond villain Good Correct That's what I was gonna say No it's not Amir um, I'm gonna Fast Fast promote, Fast, fast, um, fast I'm fast. not gonna promote A struck it project It has to be like Bond <laughs> so I'm not gonna talk about this but you're I'm not even in, in solidarity sad. with the unions i don't think you're in the unions though i'm not in them but i have solidarity <laughs> with them and i'm not going to promote a struck project this project doesn't even exist though we're exactly. talking about like a theoretical i don't even know what project line. you're talking about because if i say the word it's promoting it bond i don't know <laughs> so what do you invest in <laughs> stocks securities <laughs> mutual funds etfs hedge funds, vanguards I've never even heard of that one. Vanguard? ETFs? That's like a oh, ETF are <laughs> They're cool. <laughs> I think that one is sort of a mutual fund. Thoughts? I think that's my favorite scene in the Barbie movie where... Uh, Ryan Gosling's realizing that the world is a patriarchy. 
And I was the world specifically, is a patriarchy. <laughs> specifically talking about the the scene where I think it's Scott Evans, Ken character is just explaining bonds and CDs to someone. Uh, are you are you not going to tell everyone? What? Oh my god! You hooked up with the Ken guy, Ryan Gosling. No, there's like 80 Kens in the movie. That's the whole joke. Oh wait, wait, what is happening? Are you not going to tell them? We sat in front of them. In front yeah, of we who? sat in, in front of Scott Evans, Chris Evans' brother, uh, and Scott all of his friends. Scott Evans? He, yes. He's, she was just talking about him. He was Ken in the one of the Kens in the Barbie movie. Wow. Oh. Yeah, he, he doesn't seems care. Awful. <laughs> <laughs> he seems awful. He seems awful. Like, Chris Evans is pretty boring looking, but like hot. That's, Fuck off. Let's move on. <laughs> he, his skin looks like milk. I mean, <laughs> he's always been the least attractive of the Hollywood A-listers that people say are hot to me. His brother That's... looks like the same, but not nice. Chris at least looks like a good person. <laughs> You're a bad person. <laughs> You're a bad person. <laughs> because I said suck meat off the bone. Yeah. That wasn't good, but that was honestly number 1000 in a laundry list of things that suck name three things i've done that sucked you said uh you called chris evans skin milky that was just now you said his brother looks like a bad person i think he does he looks like somebody that would make someone uncomfortable at a party but what i'm saying is the list of things that are bad about you is that you said that out loud okay but that's nothing because you can say anything yeah say anything it's a good band The no, good I'm thing serious. is, I what, can't what are the worst see things Jeff, I've ever done. So, like, yeah. I have no idea how he's Head reacting to stuff. Head and hands. What are the worst things Jeff's ever done? Uh, in the last few weeks, you had a bunch of us come into the office to record a podcast and you just didn't show up. And then you said, I'm sorry, I spaced or something. You like constantly that. dox people and yourself and sometimes forget to edit it out. You send me food and don't tell me, so it just rots on my food waste. waste. Yeah, yeah. That's what food, waste food waste plus ant problem infestation. Pests yeah. in a house that you own. Exactly. So you would have to fumigate. You can't just move. It's disgusting. The it's ads team fine. emails me every week because you forget to do something correctly when you upload an episode. Yeah, That's you, true. You That's do forget true. to. You forgot what I just went over teaching you. What did you just go over to... teaching you? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at me. <laughs> 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 You forgot everything I taught you about how to upload the Hagen podcast, so I keep having to fix episodes that you upload. Meaning? <laughs> <laughs> I did genuinely forget, so why don't you teach me right now so I will do it right I this feel way. like this is a teachable no. moment. But you're it's not a teachable moment. I feel like this is a preachable no, the mo- moment. The no, moment where she moment taught him was a teachable, teachable moment. moment. Yeah. Right. So true. Yeah. Sometimes it takes yeah. a while to take. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't stick. If you weren't funny, you'd be the worst person ever. (laughs) (laughs) You'd have no redeeming qualities. He'd be a zero. That's not true. When I was sick, he asked how I was feeling. That's very thoughtful. That was an automated text. (laughs) (laughs) That was scheduled months before to actually put you at ill at ease. (laughs) And I'm trying to come to your defense. I don't know why. And (laughs) yesterday, I apologized to him privately for ignoring him by accident and being mean to him in the company slack and he said i didn't have to apologize for either that was pretty nice Mm. not really you ignored him in the company slack (laughs) no i ignored him his text and then i was mean to him a little bit in the company slack oh but that's his slack attitude is like to be antagonistic and mean so it's nice that you play along and prod him back sorry to yeah sometimes i feel like it goes too far like he wants it to be on his terms Mm -hmm. and i feel like as soon as you yeah, kind of step out of that. He lane. needles and needles, and then you like go back, and then you're apologizing to him. It's kind of messed up. I was going to say, maybe we do needle for lunch. <laughs> 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 he needles, he needles. Yeah, like I need the no. train fun. Such a such an inside <laughs> joke that no one. <laughs> well, I kind of want to introduce the particular. idea of needle because it's the new Omsby. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Uh, only it's actually good. That's Omsby the difference. Was yeah. Bad, yeah. Because Omsby, we should just for those who don't know. Actually, it's me. I don't know. Thick onigiri balls, <laughs> three inches in diameter. Rice triangles, rounded, <laughs> kind of to like the a point where they're not even a triangle. Size, yeah. Right? yeah, it was sort of a he sphere said tr- of rice. Triangle. <laughs> yeah, a, imagine a grapefruit of rice, but instead of seeds, it's a chunk of tuna. In the it middle. was a triangle of badness. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say that there's three components. 
rice, fish, and like mayo. Did this start the rice? This was the origin of rice, I think, because we used to say exactly rice. It was the onigri of the whole rice story. <laughs> <laughs> rice. Um, so yeah, there was there were three components: rice, fish, mayo. No, I understand. And you know, I think at most you could get away with like a Negroni split, like one to one to one. Negroni. You know, like Negroni's like sweet. We're getting away from the point. Basically, I oh I see I, what you're saying. The like ideal ratio, ratio, yeah, would yeah. be like. Let's say 50% rice. I thought you got onigiri wrong. No. <laughs> onigroni. <laughs> it's a rice-based drink. Rice-a-roni. An onigroni. <laughs> it's a negroni with sake. Um, no, I, it, it, I think it should be like 50% rice, 35% fish, 15% mayo. This was nothing near that. Look. This was like 80%. No, this was like 60% rice. Uh-huh. <laughs> 39% mayo, uh-huh. 1% fish. <laughs> it was absolutely vile. Um, so needle, yeah. by contrast, is good. Completely different food, though, right? Yeah, Completely like, different. That's true, but it has place. rice. Yeah. Mm. We've eaten at needle. It's very good. We had a good we, time. Yeah, we had needle. You Jeff haven't been wasn't there. there. I've never been there. Never been. And I, and like, it, yeah. It's right it took over my favorite restaurant in L.A., so I'm pretty bummed about Which was that. what? Oakberry? <laughs> <laughs> We've also no, been over this open. on the podcast before. It was called Noodles. It was another noodle place. Yeah. Oh, the pho place. Uh, I wasn't really pho, no. Oh, was... my God. I, you know, I always say <laughs> that my... Oak Ferry being your favorite restaurant in LA would be so iconic. <laughs> the, 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 uh, no way. the worst asai I've ever had. Mm. 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 What do you guys fear most at the moment? Are we gonna do the kind of in here for podcast? We're gonna do it after the break, man. Oh my god! Oh my god! I think think (laughs) give my bond of the week. What's your bond? You said Scott Evans. No, No, I didn't. didn't. Oh. (laughs) My bond of the week um, is gonna be probably the new teacher from Heartstopper season two. I don't remember his name, but I like it. Nobody's seen it. (laughs) I don't know either. Sorry, Marika. I want to pick up this thread with you, but... No, it's fine. Uh, Just uh, David Tennant. I don't know. Oh, that's good. Is it? Um, Oh, from... Doctor Who. No. Sure. (laughs) What were you going to say, Anya? Is he the one from um, the Olivia Coleman? Yes. Yeah. Um, murder show. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's great. So good. Mm-hmm. Great show. What's that one called? Uh, it starts with Broad Church. Yeah. We're not allowed to talk about any of this in solidarity with the well, the. It's a struck project. That's true, yeah. but it's BBC. Does that count? No. <laughs> mm. In solidarity with the striking UPS workers, I think we should have a UPS workers bond. I thought they figured their shit out. It's they're going back and forth still. I see. Um, my buddy used to drive for UPS, James Johnston. Awesome. So James Bonston. That's pretty good. It's really good. Is that? <laughs> it's fine. The it rhymes. SNL person. So. No, that's James. That's Johnson. James Austin Johnston. <laughs> James Awesome Johnston. <laughs> this is James Awesome Johnston, my buddy. He was here. He was. Doing, he just did a Hollywood handbook. <laughs> so what? I'm just saying. He was sitting in this chair. It's kind of fun. Just like you were. Exactly. Once. That's true. Well, I wasn't on their show. They were on your show. Yeah. They never invited me on their show. Nor will they ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you guys most afraid of in the world right now? What's that? What? Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> He's collecting himself. Like, uh, he went like this. What are you most afraid of right now? Just one thing. The most. <laughs> sort of inherently one thing, yeah. Not necessarily. <laughs> exhausting doing this show for me too, by the way. Everybody's exhausted by me. Me too. He's most afraid of me too. He's no. <laughs> Grace, run that back. There's times. no way. Grace. Yeah, that'd be great. I've always proceeded with grace and reverence. Tried to treat people with the utmost respect. Mm. You just said that Chris Evans' skin was a milky. I don't think that's the utmost well, respect. That is I don't think that's mean. a bad thing. Milky? Well, careful. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's different kinds of milk. What if it looks st- 
strawberry milky. Have you guys ever met somebody with like a sour milk energy? Mm. You. What the fuck, Marika? <laughs> that backfired. <laughs> that backfired. <laughs> Couldn't have seen that coming. Um, Who's your bond of the week? Or you already said. I thought I said Sandy. You did not say anyone. You we gotta take a break. Sandy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh, he said, he said Peter Sarsgaard. Yeah, he a did. A book <laughs> dropping in a library. <laughs> Our next partner is Athletic Greens. Guys, I used to take a ton of different vitamins and supplements, literally a basket full of th I'm not supposed to say other brands, huh? Of a bunch of different vitamins and supplements. And there were so many pills that it took like 10 minutes to take them all to get all the nutrients that I needed. But then Micah at HeadGum introduced me to AG1 by Athletic Greens. And I was like, this has literally every mineral and vitamin I was taking by pill in an all-in-one nutritional insurance and it tasted great and now I can casually sip as I start my day instead of stopping everything taking pill 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 uh, and it is just hard you know to t keep up with a traditional supplement routine I'm not alone in feeling that way and very quickly I realized that AG1 fit into my lifestyle a lot better because like I said, you can sip it casually while you do other things. I will wake up, I'll have a glass of water, then I have my AG1 and then I have my coffee and then I'm off to the races. And I've quickly noticed that it, it helps with my mental clarity and alertness, sleep quality for sure. Uh, and overall, just feeling like I'm doing one thing for my health every day. And and even that mentally can be really helpful in, in getting other stuff done. Every scoop is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients of the highest quality that give major benefits like gut and mood support, boosted energy, and even healthier looking skin, hair, and nails. AG1 is delivered right to your door every month, making it super easy to make it a daily habit. It's very easy for me. I never even have to think about it. And because of the subscription, every time I'm nearing, you know, the end of my supply, boom, it's right there at my front door. Could not be easier. So if you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash what's that? Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash what's that? Check it out. Coming at him with about uh, half of the show, right? Let's get the energy up. Let's get some uh, reviews. Let's talk about them. Maybe we'll, it'll be funny. Maybe we'll all get smiley and like happy. And you know, this kind of feels like when I was a kid. Why? Because my parents would argue, right? <laughs> and I would be like, "Oh my god, are they going to get a divorce?" And I'd have to like take two <laughs> people who look so back. upset. I would have to take two people who look so upset at each other, at me, and uh, you know, my dad would go like, "It's your fault. If we break up, it's your fault." And me just trying to be like, "Hey." Let's all be happy, you know? Yeah. yeah. The clown. Sort of the jester. Maybe not clown because jester is a job. Clown is an art. <laughs> I was told once that that's like a younger sibling energy. It's like you're the the youngest like in a wolf pack is just there to not create drama. You're just like. Solve it. Yeah. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. And then a create, lot of it is creating peace like the, and inner harmony. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody was, somebody trying, to was trying to like my explain my personality through that lens. Through that lens. Yeah. As I'm the youngest child. So it's, like, yeah. it's like, oh, you don't, you don't ever have a strong opinion because you don't want to ruffle any feathers. No, I do. Yeah. That and then uh, you're trying to me. just make levity and uh, trying to like create a, a carefree attitude in dramatic situations. What he's talking about is middle child syndrome and it's just that he has middle child energy as a youngest. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, are you the baby? <laughs> <laughs> Lopsided episode. <laughs> Boys. The noise. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, sometimes you feel uncertain in life. You know, where are you headed? What is the right path to take? How am I going to navigate this tricky time in my life? I mean, I, I, I'll be honest. I, I'm going through one right now. A lot of my best friends have moved to New York, and I'm left wondering, you know, what should I do? What hobbies should I devote myself to? How do you make new friends as an adult? You know, we're always faced with crossroads in life, and we don't know what path to take sometimes, and that decision is really difficult when you're doing it on your own. But whatever it is, therapy can help you map out your future and trust yourself to find the way forward. I'm in therapy every week. My therapist is working overtime right now trying to help me figure out my whole life plan. Uh, but I can confidently say that I am a different and better version of myself uh, comparing when I started to therapy, started in therapy, and now. Cannot recommend it highly enough. 
So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash What's That today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash What's That. Thanks, BetterHelp. Youngest of five. Not me. Youngest of two. I'm not the youngest of five. Mm. Um, should we get into some reviews? Yeah. Wait, are we all the youngest sibling? Marika, are you? Uh, I guess technically. <laughs> I, have, I have half siblings. And but they're, they're all older. older than me. Yeah. So we're all the youngest child. That's interesting. A bunch of clowns. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Mm. Just, jesters, he says. I this, that. this review is from Low817. Um, Slow Bosworth. <laughs> First episode is like standing near a group of HeadGum employees and Jeff and overhearing their conversations. They speak as if we already know who they are and as well as all their friends. Listen to all episodes so far. It doesn't get Jeffer. There's no structure. I listen to If I Were You Too and that podcast revolves around a different format. The lack of grammar and surplus of spelling errors in the HeadGum podcast five-star review says a lot about how funny their demographic is. Jake and Amir are in their late 40s now, right? But they still <laughs> are young and funny, and I bet most of their fans are under 30. I'm so happy for them. <laughs> that was written by also, AI. Yeah. They also said, and you've got Hey Riddle Riddle on your network. That's amazing. So shout I out to Hey Riddle Riddle. really don't appreciate Marika, like, hovering over my shoulder, having the Apple podcast pulled up, because I didn't want to well, include I, that last sentence. Yeah, I could tell you don't want to include it, but as the head of marketing, I do want to include <laughs> it, because we love to give a shout yeah. out to other podcasts. It, I can't, never mind. That's honestly the main point of this podcast, is to illuminate different shows on our network. Yeah. Oh, and why Jeff doesn't Jeff do right that? Around it. Why doesn't mm-hmm. Jeff do that? Well, he does the opposite. He sort of suppresses it. <laughs> Even when they accidentally but isn't find that what their way. Pa- what we're paying him for? I mm-hmm. thought so. But he's sort of taken the nuclear football and ran away. I don't know what that... So, <sighs> second review. <laughs> this is titled, Actually, five stars. As a women... <laughs> Did you read these beforehand? <laughs> it looks like they're shocking you. <laughs> they are. So you hadn't read any of these. Why would I do that so you wouldn't get my natural reaction? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a born performer. <sighs> Just yeah, whenever you find skim one that you what it think what did it say about usable. women? Uh, this it was it was like a second part to the other interview or other yeah, review. I was gonna have to cut it. Yeah, I just obviously. was doing that to make you guys laugh here right. and now. Uh, <laughs> Unusable. Here we go <laughs> to the core. From nickname is already taken. The title's Jeffrey James. Colon. Noun. A piece of... James's colon? Not that far off. Noun. A piece of absorbent material wrapped around a person's bottom and between their legs to absorb and retain urine and feces. (laughs) Folks, I'm being kind here. He thinks I'm a diaper man. (laughs) But you know what? He's not wrong because I do kind of catch a lot of shit on this fucking show. That's pretty good. Bars. I'm hearing a siren. Yeah. Is that a siren? I thought they're it was like a... You. They're coming to get me. <laughs> um, Marika, we should say... <laughs> not... <laughs> <laughs> so no, it's like a... <laughs> that's kind of like unheard of. <laughs> Marika, we heard... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously cut that. <laughs> okay, what even is anything after the break that I've got to cut? So far, very little is left. By the way, I'm going to chop it up. Yeah. Um, it'll all be cut out, but it, it's going to be chopped up not smoothly so people know how much has been taken Exactly. Out. Exactly. Yeah. Swiss yeah. cheese where it's mostly whole. Is that going to be... Well, are you writing your own vows at your wedding? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. What That's did you cool. think I was going to just take it from a fucking book of poetry or something? Kind of, yeah. Jeff's yeah, eyes has to be widened at that. <laughs> at that idea. You're writing your own vows? You're not going to quote, like... What were you going to say, Shakespeare? I was going to say Chagall, who's a visual artist. <laughs> yeah, I'm quoting a stained glass. <laughs> <laughs> artist or... Glass. Got it. <laughs> um, 
here we go. This is from Birch91. Oh, I saw <laughs> that, um, Cutting what's mess. that place? Mirate. Mirate. Yeah. Marty Weird Texas. spot. Weird spot. It's kind of awesome. You know who else has been there? John Mayer. You know, has we walk been. in through, the, have you ever been to Mirate? No. I never even heard of it. It's, is it new? It's, it's new-ish. It's, it's Jewish, cool that they let, I think. It's like this very unassuming door next to a Starbucks. Then you walk in and it's like this huge underground, you're like, you're already in the, the overlooking this terrace. I'm like, I can't believe this even exists back here. I don't even know they, what it was before. They let people in their late 40s in? Well, they don't actually. I'm 40.5. So very early 40s. It's like he doesn't even read Eater. I do. <laughs> What's that? I was told that the food there was bad, but the drinks are good. And how, well, how was that's your experience? Everything that's every place in LA. Is yeah, it? I didn't eat there. I only you eat. had a drink. Yeah, I got a drink. I would. Can you read the review? Yep, this is from Birch ninety one. Five stars. No one man should have all that sour. Good. <laughs> Listening to this feels like I'm trying to cut water with a pair of scissors. Additionally, I'm going to make Jeff drink a non-Gansett beer and watch him wither away like a vampire exposed to direct sunlight. We haven't talked about Gansett in a while. It kind of like was one of those ambassadorships that sort of fades away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of ambassadorship. I feel like you don't drink beer that much anymore. Can you control F the reviews for all of our names? Uh, that's not possible. You can't search... You reviews can't use like it's a text document. Yes, you yeah. Can. No, not on Apple Podcast. I just tried. Maybe if I was on the website or something, but I don't really care to open Google Chrome. I feel I like we go should to look at YouTube comments more than Can you search those? Apple Podcast reviews. That's probably smarter. I would say so far we have zero after the break. <laughs> it's been a Maybe the one line about the restaurant. Yeah, but even then it was just like it didn't Yeah, but he really mentioned my personal life, so it's going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There was There was no. one review that was sort of mid that we read. But they did say that you were in your late 40s, which we should keep. Yeah, that part was funny. Do you think they really think that? I don't or is think that so. a joke? I think the whole thing was kind it's of It's not that to far from how old you are. <laughs> this yeah. is really funny. Nine, um, nine years off, basically. This is a comment from at 122 Go Green on last week's episode. I'm here to tell a true story. Last night, I had a dream that Jeff was hired to be on SNL. I saw it on his Twitter. He was thanking everyone and said he'd look fondly on the days where he was just Jeffrey the dumbass. Here's the kicker, though. To mark his debut in the world of show business, he had adopted a new stage name. Tony Zero. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. <laughs> Tony. It's like Tony Clifton, but a zero. That's really funny. Yeah. My, uh, if, if that was the case and I was Tony Zero on SNL, you know how like they get to choose their, <laughs> where, where, in New York, where, where in New York they're going to do their intro video? Yeah. Mine would be like getting oh. a parking ticket. Oh. That's good. I'm like enraged. I thought it was going to be at Zero World Trade Center. That's also pretty good. Ground zero. Ground Tony zero. Yeah, that's that really good. <laughs> Eating a Sparrow pizza over a, a fucking dumpster. It's me getting grounded at ground zero. Oh, God. Like a construction worker shoves me to the ground. Um, I'm going to cough. It's okay. <coughs> uh, so far, nothing has been usable after the break, I think. I'm, I got the... The address of One World Trade Center wrong, so yeah. we're gonna have to cut that. And it's cut definitely not zero. One. One. I don't think any address has ever been one. zero. It's yeah. Ground Zero, but that's confusing. Yeah, yeah, One World Trade and then Ground Zero. Definitely. Why wouldn't they call it Zero World Trade? I don't think an address could be zero. Of course it can. I don't think so. Marika, hmm, can an address be zero? Can we get a numbers crunch on that? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, here we go. This one. is from at Mr. Belofa. I love when this I podcast. Love you say that as if we know Mr. him, Mr. Bolofa. <laughs> oh, of course, Mr. Bolofa. They call me Mr. <laughs> boom Flafo, Fifalo Lafo. No. Boom, boom. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm gonna do a different one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, unusable to the core. Zero percent of this has been good. Tony Zero. Tony Zero was good, actually. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is he's gonna try to keep it at zero. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's see if we can get a zero usable back half of the episode. I'm really curious to hear what everything after the break will sound like. It's going to sound like some sort of <laughs> weird choppy, choppy nothingness that he created. Tony, Tony zero. zero. And five, we're below <laughs> I'm on last week's episode on yeah. YouTube. Thoughts? <laughs> Thoughts is Marika sort of saving your ass because you're just sort of silently reading reviews right now. Yeah, I was going to read some uh, comments. Someone said from last week, the our grits rice, grits count as rice, absolute comedic moment of the century. Wow. How does that make you feel, Jeff? Of the century? Well, it's obviously hyperbole, right? They don't actually mean that. Did you see? Did you see the clip from yesterday? What happened? You're gonna have to cut this. <laughs> <laughs> this is God. insane. <laughs> did you see? Tr- tr- really cut this. This is from the Burning All the Rice episode, which was the Powerhouse Women episode. Uh, at Alex DH two thousand one said, "There's something so funny about Jeff being a disembodied voice for most of the pod while the camera is on the women." Careful. And then cutting to his smug face whenever he does a mediocre wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> How many stars? Oh, this it's is a on YouTube. YouTube comment. Got it. Amir's in his late 40s. Um, <laughs> so much silence. It's just It's going to be chop, 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 and then... Yeah, I'll review that. And then silence. From Daddy Tuesday Night. Jeff is like a hot, nasty, scalding man, man. I can't get enough, but I've had enough. He's slime in a dime and definitely past his prime. Right here, buddy. Cool as shit. Love you, man. He's doing the emoji, the middle finger. You're doing the bad guesting. (laughs) (laughs) You know there's a middle finger emoji? Doesn't that seem kind of crass for like the most G-rated thing that you could put on your iPhone? Yeah, like we have to have like a water gun or whatever. Right. There's but you have a straight up middle finger. That means fuck. That means fuck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you slice it. It's the F that word. Means fuck. We've never done emoji. this. We've never done this. But four minutes on the board, it's Amir's druthers. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> um, a, yeah. Uh, when you're driving with someone or you're navigating somewhere like on a hike or a ride or whatever some sort of journey and somebody recommends going one way and you recommend going another i find it it's always useful to go their way because whether it's a 50 50 shot which one is faster you can never prove that your way is faster they can always just call you out on your way being worse so just yeah sure go your way if it's slower, I won't mention anything. And if it's faster, then you were right. I basically am a martyr for this trip. And if we go my way and it's slower, I'll never fucking hear the end of it. Oh, we should have done the other way. I should have done the other way. I'm in an Uber to LAX. Uh, the His ways or his Google Maps says take side streets to the highway halfway to the airport. And he's like, no, trust me, I've been doing this for like five years this way is faster. I'm like, why do you, how do you think you know live traffic? Like, I know you think the fastest way to get there is to to get on the highway right here, but Google Maps is saying that there's a lot of traffic on the highway, so take side streets until there. He's like, all right, whatever you say, boss. I'm like, it's not me. I'm just looking. I trust the technology. I'm not calling you out. By the way, five years is not a long time to be be a driver to the point where you (laughs) think you know what the what the traffic will be like on the freeway before we're even there. <laughs> Furthermore, you get on like these ways, these GPS apps, and it's just more. like there's a <laughs> there's a car stopped in 0.5 miles. Is, is it still there? I don't know. <laughs> it's half a fucking mile down the road. Do you want me to answer right now? They're no. giving me the option right now. They're saying this car stopped in 0.5 miles. Is it still there? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's still there. I'm guessing. I don't fucking know. It's half a mile down the road. Ask me when I get there. You know what I mean? There's no point in like me weighing in now. Also, don't rely on people fucking looking at the GPS and being like, uh, yeah, hold on. Let me press if it's here because I'm still driving. How about we're at the point in society and technology that you can get a fucking GPS camera and you tell me if it's still there. And who cares if it's still there? Is a car stopped on the side of the road? Sure. 
It doesn't matter. It's not affecting anything. I'm, I'm worried about if there's so stuff deranged. in the road, <laughs> not on the side of the road. Yeah, we drove fast a car. Let me weigh in like it's a fucking online poll. This isn't a doodle where I have to weigh in on shit. This is a GPS system. Just tell me the fastest way to get there. Also, if I'm using Waze and my buddy's using Google Maps, it's telling me two different ways to get there. Didn't Google buy Waze? Aren't they all using the same open source live traffic technology? Remember when you're listening on the radio and they're like, all right, we got a helicopter up in the air and there's some traffic over here and there's some traffic over there. Are people still flying up in helicopters or are we just like over that? <laughs> Like, why do we need helicopters at all anymore? <laughs> they should all be, like, diverted. Those funds should go to, like, fucking fire, like, men using <laughs> the helicopters to drop, I think, water, but maybe it's some sort of, like, gray sludge debris, whatever the fuck. I guess we're past water, even though I see, I still see hydrants everywhere. That's water. Why don't we fill the hydrants up with the gray shit that they drop on fires? Also, what's the point of, like, trying to contain a forest fire? These things are going hog wild in Canada. Yeah, let me, I think I have a fucking helicopter. I could try to slow it down. No, you cannot slow it down. It's the size of fucking Texas. You're wasting your time, your energy, your effort. Those helicopters could be used to tell me the live traffic update, or maybe there's a car on the fucking side of the road you guys can tell me about from your helicopter so I don't have to weigh in while I'm on my while I'm driving to sort of you cast my vote as to whether something is on the side of the road or not. I have a pitch. That's how you do it, Druthers. <laughs> oh, Marika, absolute... take okay, notes. Okay, first of all, fuck off. That's not the <laughs> spirit of Druthers. That's a rant. Absolutely is the spirit I of have a, I have a pitch. Yeah. Go to break. Sure. Mm. Come back from break, just cut to that. No, or just, just start cut, just with cut him. this and keep everything else in. Sort of the reverse, what we expect. That's harder for Grace because there's so many more cuts we have to make. But I think we should come back with with Amir talking about being in the and being in an Uber and having like a like a power of like battle of wills between who's him and the your Uber buddy driver that you're driving in tandem with, who's taking Google Maps and you're taking Waze. Yeah, like uh, if we're both leaving, like uh, on a on oh a shit trip. Oh, we're not recording or <laughs> no? This the SSD just finished. Holy shit! That's never happened. <laughs> I've never even tried to check. Take that. Take the blue one that says audio. So it said like thirty nine minutes left when you what? started. What? When? <laughs> when did it stop? Just now. Oh, okay. Wow, it's a good thing you caught it. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping none of the second half was in. Or the first half, too. Oh. Um, this is going to be a, a load to edit. For me. Yeah. But you're saying it's not for Friday. It's for a week from Friday. Week from Friday. Friday's is already uploaded. It's Look already, at that. Yeah. Um, That's really, I'm really proud of you, It was Jeff. so hot in my apartment last night. I didn't get, I didn't get to sleep till 5 a.m. Do you because have any Because of the heat? I do. And it was still too hot? It's like a really old AC. I don't think it works very well. I th I need to replace it, but I'm on the, well, I'm on the 18th floor, let's just say. Um, I'm not. I just don't want people to know anything. <laughs> um, it's high up. We also didn't ask. What is this? Specific. I don't mean we didn't, you, you, you like walk yourself into these. Also, wasn't it cooler than like 70 degrees outside? Like, couldn't you have just open a window? It wasn't that hot. Overnight. No, I, uh, I'm Amir's taking his shoes off. Is that okay? Ugh. So, about your thing. Wait, are I we was back? with you? <laughs> <laughs> like, this episode started off fine we and then like, it has wobbled and just <laughs> like a Jenga tower exploded all over our laps. We had There's like nothing left. Two months of solid episodes, maybe like six weeks. Yeah. And then starting with Pile, it, there's been a demise. Don't say that while we're still recording. <laughs> <laughs> we can solve We're taking it. time. Okay, how do we turn it around, I guess? I think it's on Marika. She's been saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you just said that the hard drive stopped. You gave no indication <laughs> that we we're back. I you just I synced. I can't With what? see With you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't With see no anybody. I'm looking at myself. Anya, you're in a lot of other podcast records, right? Yeah. Do yes. they go like this? No, but they usually have a plan. 
Really? Or <laughs> you spent half of the episode skimming reading <laughs> reviews yeah. to yourself. And it was crazy because he wasn't like, oh, I have to find one and just like no, picked. I'm you really sat there. The we were awful, unusable. Yes. Yeah. We're not going to use any of it. Maybe Tony Zero. Tony we'll Zero. Use Tony, I we'll, go, we'll come back from the break. We'll use drop, Tony Zero. Drop the Zero, get yeah. with the hero. And of. then Amir's Druthers. Mm. But that means I, that we have to wax for another 40 minutes. I think that we have to call that something else besides Amir's Druthers. That's not the spirit no, of Druthers. That's the spirit of Druthers. That's always been it's the spirit of Druthers. It's not the spirit You've of always, Druthers. Well, it's the spirit of Druthers. What, did you say what is? He was talking about if he had his Druthers, things would be different. That's Amir's Druthers. <laughs> no. First of all, he didn't say if I had my Druthers. He was just ranting about <laughs> various... <laughs> traffic concepts and I guess gray sludge that they pour on fires and how that should be in fire hydrants. <laughs> yeah, did you guys what did you guys agree with the most and what did you guys disagree with the most? Oh, everything I can I start. Yeah. So I was with you at, at the top yeah. where like which I think is a little sibling energy uh-huh. where you're like I'm just going to keep the peace and do what the person next to me is suggesting because if they're wrong, it's on them. Right. And I get to be able to feel a little bit superior. Exactly. But then it turned out that that's like a conversation and like a f- battle of wills mm-hmm. that you're having with an Uber driver, which is Well, I was sort of scary. flying all over the place. But sometimes I do. I will get an Uber driver that wants to override the GPS because he thinks he knows best. And you are having like a... And I'm just like, you. there's no way you can know what the traffic is do like. Do you say this to him? No, I'm like, can you we just already did the this. GPS? Speaking of Uber drivers, I got uh, served a compilation video today of uh, all of Jake's um, Mr. Uber driver stories. Oh, that's good. Holds up. Wow, they're, really? They're so funny. A character based on a filter that Snapchat used to have. His name? No. Leslie. Leslie. <laughs> 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 Great name. A British dandy. Also, why were you the Uber driver? I don't know. Sometimes I wasn't even driving. <laughs> you guys ever get Uber drivers that want to eschew the GPS, the navigation? They're like, because they know better? I get Uber drivers that are like, which way do you want to go, sir? Right. Yeah. And then you say wow. just the GPS, <laughs> or you're like, oh, all right, let me fucking hardwire into my ass and I'll tell you which way to go. I'm in the front seat. You're in the front. I'm pointing Holy left, shit. right, center. You're telling him to switch lanes. Too. Yeah. Like I'm telling him to the get gas the for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's on the hood of the car. <laughs> yeah. I'm like <laughs> gripping the, the like fucking thing like on top that you can like put. Yeah. I had a... Lord, give me the strength. <laughs> uh, why don't you guys lead some shit for once? I don't know. Well, I I'm out of ideas. Tell a story. Clearly. Yes, for now. I have other ideas that the network keeps saying, oh, we don't have the money. I'm like, can I put some money into it of my own money? And they're like, no, we can't let you do that. I'm like, I don't That's understand that at all. That's not the same as just talking and having a plan <laughs> for an episode. Also, I will say that if, <laughs> if, if, if you're pitching something to someone, this is just a little bit of free advice. Sure. You're pitching something to someone and they say, we don't have the budget for it. And then you say, I'll pay for it myself. And they still say no. <laughs> that's like, that's them politely saying we don't want to do it. The idea is so, well, no, because Katie said they want to do true. it. That's not true. Yeah, to be clear, that's <laughs> okay, not true. Okay, okay. This is first up. of all, this is why is this the first time? Why yeah. is this the Marika's first time we're all taking Jeff's each side. other seriously on this? Well, show? <laughs> <laughs> I have ideas to <laughs> break the mold. Marika comes to Jeff's defense that was for no reason. Behavior. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Jeff incredible. knows I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I just want funny. to make two Anya, things to be happen. Clear, this I fall. literally can't even see your face right now. <laughs> I only see your legs. And the there's no indication that it's holding the show back at this point. It's just it's funny. Me. It's funny that you're saying, I'll pay. F- we we can't afford it. And then you're saying, I'll pay for it. It's and people really are still not saying that expensive. No. <laughs> I don't understand it at all. I have At this point, I'm going to do it myself. And then we'll tri- do it live. That's, no. What's an example of something that you want to pay for? I can't say I can't say it to you. Jeff, we'll talk about this offline. We'll talk about it offline. <laughs> I just am upset. You yeah. already we know we're going to do it. Week. No, I don't. Yes, oh, you do. here we go. Casey Donahue <laughs> in the studio, and he doesn't look happy. Get him in here. He's giving me the wrap it up. It is almost For one. What? Who's coming in at one? 
We uh, we have a studio tour. Someone's with coming. who? Not telling. Well, I'll bleep it. Bleep it. Who's coming? You saved the show. The episode's been a fucking wash. Actually, you said the last episode that Casey was on was awful. Yeah, but I said that was because of pile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can arm your mic midway through. It's already armed. <gasps> I knew you this knew. would happen. Yeah, yeah. He's been wasting SD space just for you. We actually yeah. ran out during the episode. Has that ever happened before? Well, you used to run out of episodes. <laughs> That's you used true. To, like sprint out of the studio, leave the well, Zoom early. Yeah, yeah, in the pandemic, you would leave the Zoom every time at like the twenty minute mark. <laughs> yeah, I've never oh. this. Uh, yeah, this yeah. podcast. I've never run out of space in the middle of an episode because I, I check to make sure I have enough space before right I in. start recording. <laughs> <laughs> Already coming in with the heat. How long into this are you guys? <laughs> uh, we have to go. <laughs> Donna Hugh to the rescue. Let's Take it uh, away. <laughs> You ever get an Uber driver that says, no. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> no. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> wow. You don't realize how off base that reaction was. Like, I have not been bringing that up. He talked about Even. it for four minutes with an Amir's Druthers. He had it's his Druthers. It's not Amir's uh-huh. Druthers. Mar- and then Marika's trying to tell me what Druthers is. That's what the segment <laughs> has always me meant to be. And Marika's never done it that way. I'll just, I'll just explain the energy in the room. Usually, no, I see usually, the energy. Usually, the energy. Usually, I feel usually, it. usually it's all of us kind of against Jeff and yeah. everyone's having fun. For some it's reason, it's every every man for show to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's every man for himself. Today. Do you see this? I'm trying yeah. to. I'm trying to fill Casey well, and get us on the same page. For Jeff, I am just nowhere. I'm nowhere. I'm back on Anya's side. I just did it once. <laughs> it was just cool to see. And it was now kind I'm of mad like at history. Jeff again because he's saying that my druthers <laughs> are wrong. For, for years, I've said Marika's druthers seven minutes on the board, basically like rant, go off, queen. And you never That's have. never, you've never and said rant I did for Amir once, <laughs> and then Amir nails Actually, it. Actually, you can almost argue that this is Marika's druthers right now. You had overlapping dialogue with yourself. I've never seen that. That was unbelievable. That's, that's not, that's not the spirit of Marika's druthers. Marika's druthers has evolved and become sort of uh, just uncertain start conversation starters that go nowhere because... <laughs> Nobody actually wants to talk about them or they're being silenced by Jeff. I'd More like to see say. you try to do a Marika Struthers, actually. Wow. What, Amir just did, wow. what Amir just did was not Marika Struthers. <laughs> what Amir did was like Amir's... It was a loose four. But what you're describing <laughs> is the rest of the show. Conversation <laughs> starters that don't go anywhere, bringing up no. topics that no one participates in. <laughs> That's just the show. So, of course, Marika's Druthers oh, is supposed to be different. What is Jeff explaining the concept of the show to us? <laughs> Grace, cut that out. <laughs> that was good. Look at Tony Zero over there thinking he owns this place. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't fill Casey in on that. It's catching. <laughs> it's catching on. Casey, feel free to call me Tony Zero. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> was a HeadGum original.